Joining us now, Senate Minority Leader Mark Miller, who's one of the 14 Democrats who left Wisconsin to stall the vote. He joins us this morning from an undisclosed location. We can't tell you it is outside Wisconsin. Senator, good morning to you. Good morning, Erica. Uh, the Senate Majority Leader has said that he will reconvene the Senate tomorrow. Will you and your 13 colleagues be there to start moving this process forward? Well, he's going to reconvene it on normal business, not on the not on the special session bill that caused us to walk out. But would you be there to be part of that business? Because that too is business that you need to be a part of. Uh, I, if we go back, then we will have to, we will be forced to take up the uh, the bill that has stripped away workers' rights, and the unions have uh, agreed to all the the, the governor's economic uh, demands, and so all that's left is is all they ask for is for them to be able to keep their, their workers' rights that have been such a long-term tradition in Wisconsin. And part of that is, uh, are those collective bargaining agreements. There's been a proposal put forth by moderate Republicans in the state which would effectively take those collective bargaining rights away, but only for two years, would bring them back in 2013. And, and then, as you mentioned, unions have agreed that they, they would pay a little bit more, their workers will. It seems like if you bring those two together, we could start to come to a compromise. Is that something you could get behind? Well, the problem is, is that the governor has to agree, and the governor has not done anything except uh, insist to be that um, he insists on he has to be his way, all or nothing. And uh, the governor needs to recognize that this is a democracy, and in a democracy, you negotiate. Uh, the, the the unions, the public employees, have agreed to the economic demands. The, 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 all they ask is to, is to be able to retain the workers' rights, and that's what, and we're supporting them in that. Do you feel that that, that Democrats and the minority here could, though, work together, perhaps, with some of these more moderate Republicans, that amongst yourselves you could come to some sort of agreement that could then put pressure on the governor? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I think cooler heads need to prevail. Workers need to retain their rights. They've given up the economic demands that the governor feels he needs to balance the budget. So now let's find a compromise. There is such a thing as compromise. The governor needs to be part of that. And what would you propose in terms of a compromise? What is your plan specifically? Because we know there are some tough choices and some tough cuts that do have to be made for the state of Wisconsin. Yes, but that doesn't include stripping workers' rights. That has not, That really has nothing to do with balancing the budget. But what are your specific proposals, sir? You know, the, the idea is, as you negotiate, you don't negotiate out in the in the press. You you negotiate with the interested parties. That's what the governor should have done in the first place. He should have negotiated with the with the uh, with the workers that he's the the head of, and he refused to do that. He tried to impose his will, and he unilaterally strip, uh, is stripping away workers' rights. So then, are you saying? I, I just want to be clear for folks at home too, because so many people are watching the state of Wisconsin. Uh, so many other states are dealing with budget issues this morning. Uh, is there something specific that you can give us that you would put on the table to begin those negotiations? Right, we're we're putting on the table the the uh, public employees have given you what you want, Governor. You give them the ability to retain their rights as workers. Senator Mark Miller, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.